Hi, it's John. It's the uh, 15th of August 2014 and somebody has said that they don't believe there's enough rebellion. Now, in the UK, um, UK is the, uh, the seat of, of Western culture. Um, it, the Industrial Revolution started here. Um, a lot of Western culture started started here in the UK uh, and France and Germany um, and most refugees and migrants if, if you ask them where they wanted to come they would actually want to come to the UK uh, one of the reasons is because we speak English and a lot of um, my, a lot of people from abroad, in Africa, especially Africa, speak English, and um, English is is more of a popular language than German and French, I think, and uh, and 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 the French don't encourage people to come in, and I mean that they're they're quite keen on keeping their language in that way. Um, and we also have quite a stable political system. Uh, so we've it, UK has got a lot going for it. Now people, no, surely no, not many people would want a revolution in the UK, would they? Uh, uh, reform, reform of of certain inequalities, yes, but not not revolution. Surely, I mean, um, in Libya and Syria and um, other places. Revolutions just, just don't work. Iraq, um, you know, reform, yes, but not revolution, I would say. Uh, uh, we don't want, don't want too much rebellion. Um, the biggest part of our reforms and changes took part after the Second World War with the Atney government, 1946, and uh, a lot of a lot of the national industries were nationalised: British Rail, British Transport, uh, Health Service was brought in. Implementation impl implementation of the Beveridge Report, and Beveridge was a Conservative, so that even the Conservatives were thinking socialism. And apparently, there had been a lot of discussion in the army about what should happen after the war. Presumably after the first war in the 1930s, it was a bit dire. And uh, the educated people, the officers perhaps, were thinking what should happen after the war. And uh, there was a general idea of equality and socialism, um, which has now burnt itself out. But uh, still I reckon that the UK is um, doesn't need a revolution or rebellion we just need a little bit of tweaking and reforms here and there. Right, bye for now.